Hi everybody, welcome back to another wig review. My name is Janelle and you are watching Glamour Dress Official. So today I have one of these main concept brown sugar units. It's the Invisible Whole Lace Collection and I have this in the style BS1407 PG. PG? PG makes more sense than PG. <laughs> in the color Prussian Blue. So here's the stock card for you. So I actually uh, reviewed one of these already and I had no clue that it was main concept. So pardon me, but this is main concept. Um, I guess brown sugar is a collection and then invisible whole lace is a collection within that collection. I'm not sure. Um, but when I got this one, I was so excited about this color. I think it's so pretty, uh, a fun color. <laughs> so I was excited. Um, this is Prussian blue, as I mentioned before. So it's got um, 13 by 6, I think, uh, lace. So you can part it anywhere. I decided to go with a middle part. And it's got baby hairs and sideburns included with hand tied lace, um, full ventilation in the cap. And it comes in a bunch of different other colors. And it should be noted that the colors differ um, depending on the specific unit. So this one has SR1B BL orange, which I'm assuming is blood orange, and the Prussian blue, which is different from the other one that I just reviewed, which has a peach color and 1B30. Um, Actually, this one has 1B30. So it has your natural colors, 1, 1B2, 1B30, and an F42730, which I'm sure is also gorgeous. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Maximum comfort, full body and volume, undetectable hairline, flexible parting, natural hair texture, easy styling and versatility. Um, so yeah, uh, first things first, I love the packaging of this entire collection. I think, um, here we go. These little boxes are adorable. They are super convenient for when you're trying to store your wig and I really like that because it's way easier to stack boxes um, that you can reuse and put the units back in. Um, let's start with the cap construction. It has two combs in the front, one comb in the back and adjustable straps. Then it has this really stretchy mesh net cap I think is what it is and it's like super roomy and super comfortable, honestly, the most comfortable um, cap construction I've ever experienced. Um, this this entire collection, I, I'm assuming, has this cap, and I love it. I think they have definitely set the, the tone for my favorite caps out of all of the wigs that I wear. Um, the lace actually is like a light brown, so or a tan color, so it matched me pretty easily. I didn't have to use any lace tint spray. Um, all I did was put some powder in the parting space just to brighten it up a little bit to match my skin tone. Um, and then, you know, I cut the lace. I took the hot comb and laid down some of the hair right at the part just to make it so that it laid down flat instead of being so humpy which you'll get when you have free parting units um, wherever you decide to part you're going to need to go in and kind of calm down the hair around the parting space uh the hairline is supposed to be pre-plucked as well does it say pre-plucked it says natural hairline undetectable hairline is what it says and i think that's true i think the hairline looks really good um here are some of the baby hairs that i did not lay down so just excuse excuse that <laughs> but i did try to lay down a few of the baby hairs right around my forehead and right around the part and i think that came out pretty okay um i did have some trouble last time when i was using this um edge pomade it um it's supposed to be maximum hold but i think that works best on like actual human natural hair when you have when you have these synthetic units sometimes you got to get creative so i decided to take some of this got to be glued spray spray it directly to my edge brush and try to lay down the edges that way because it makes it stick way better than um using 
just regular uh, edge control. So I used the Got To Be Glue spray. I didn't glue down the actual hairline, but I did glue down the baby hair, not glue, but I did um, spray the actual uh, baby hairs. They do come kind of thick. They're um, less thick than the one that I reviewed before. So they're a little bit more natural, but I would definitely take some tweezers and go in and pluck some of the baby hairs just to make them a little bit more wispy, a little bit more natural, and not so thick for you to have to like lay down. I think that is to the detriment of the unit that they're so thick. But other than that, it's not really a big issue for me. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I think this color is really cute, it's really fun, it's really pretty. I have never worn a blue unit before, but I really like this. I'm actually very excited about this. And I don't normally wear long curly units. I don't do that, <laughs> especially like long units in general, but curly ones for sure. No, I just don't, I just don't wear them. Um, so I'm extremely surprised at how much I love this wig. I got no tangling, which is crazy because it's a curly unit. Like my hands are breezing through this and they weren't even doing that on the straight units that I actually uh, reviewed. So the texture is a nice, soft, wavy, um, curly texture very long and pretty it comes down right past my chest I think to about uh, what is that almost my belly button I'm in love with this unit if you like this as well you should definitely check the description box below for a link for you to purchase again my name is Janelle and you have been watching Glamour Tress official thanks so much for joining me peace <laughs>